Welcome back to Let's Play Exile in Grumville. Ow. Alright, so we're back here in the Not So Lost Woods, so... Let's continue on from the point where we got the Super Bombs. Which we need to enter the next level. And if you'll remember from... Uh, well, previously we uh, found this place. But there wasn't a lot we could do here. Now we have the super bombs. And we get the letter. Now in this game, the letter doesn't give you the potions. Oh, uh, we've already been to the potion store in Grumville. And, uh, actually before I forget, I'm gonna go get that red candle. It'll only take a few seconds, so... Just up here. Where I couldn't pass before, behind this house. Because I didn't have the candle, so... Now I do. And we find this secret little tree here. Where we got the red candle. And we have the happy Secret of Mana Town music again. But we will be back into Happy Happy Village in a few seconds from Earthbound. It's kind of funny, everything in here is red. There's no blue. Maybe uh, Link is a uh, protege of... What's that guy's name? Master Car Painter? Trying to make a blue world. Getting rid of all this red. I'm gonna start by playing some uh, Blue Oyster Cult and Blues Traveler and maybe that Canadian country rock band Blue Rodeo. I'm gonna play their music. Blew everything up. But he's not going to play that Eiffel 65 song. That's a little bit too over the top, I think. And there's another example of... A trigger triggering something on a different screen. And we get a secret heart container over here. Very nice. Yeah, if you came this way before, that bridge wouldn't have appeared, so... That's what that does. Across these uh, pools of blood here. And there's a secret shop in this uh, waterfall. And we need our letter and we have a store with some keys. Well, let's just take the uh, boss key here. It's the only one we can afford. And the only one we will be able to afford, so. If you thought you were going to get the uh, master key in this game, well, you better think again, pal. Alright, so. We have the owl. We have the ow, and the oof, and the oog, and the ah, and the, more, more importantly, we have the boss key, so use it right here, and enter the, huh, gardens. Now, uh, this place... I think this one was the last level I designed in this quest. And, uh, so I didn't, I, I really don't know what the hell I was trying to accomplish with this. It's just... I wanted to make a forest type dungeon. But I really didn't know what I wanted. 
or what, what it was going to be, so... This is what I came up with. Just a uh, black and white foresty type area in, indoors. For some reason. And it gets even weirder later. Well, you'll see in a few seconds. So we go in here and it's dark except for the warp. And we get transported into a color room. With a bunch of really, uh, sort of eyesore colors, I would say. A bunch of, uh, looks like that rainbow ice cream, I guess. And it sort of changes the layout of the uh, place. The indoors are the same basic shape, like a big square, big rectangle, whatnot. But as you can see, the interior is different. Why? I don't know. Like, I really didn't know what, what I was doing here creating this. I just know I wanted to finish it. <laughs> this was the last one. I was like, oh, I just want to finish this. And I made this quest in about, I don't know, three or four weeks. So this probably took me a day or so. And as you can maybe tell, it's probably my least favorite dungeon in this quest. Alright, back to black and white. So, we're done with that little area there, so let's continue on. We got our first of two keys. Do 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 More Castlevania music. Maybe that's the first time I've used it in this quest. I used it a few times in, uh... What was it? Trouble at Ganico. I think this was the, uh... I used it in the... This, this track in the Wizard World level. Which I have very bad memories of. If you watch my uh, Trouble at Ganon Co. Let's Play, you might know what I mean. <laughs> it just, it was not fun. Okay, so... Actually, I do want to go this way, don't I? Around here. And down. Out. Alright, a couple of hearts. Into the warp and another screen where we have to destroy all enemies. Ah. It's kind of annoying only having the white sword in this game for this level. So everything just takes so many hits to kill. And they're not, these enemies aren't even that dangerous or anything, they're just, like, bloated on HP. Okay, there has to be something in here. Ooh, a compass. Just what I was looking for. Just what I was waiting for. And up here, and let's kill these guys for the fun of it. Uh -huh. Nothing will appear once I kill these enemies. I'm sure of it. Trust me.
Oh no, there's a key. Alright, let's head to the left first. It's kind of a... It's kind of... The placement of that key was pretty... Wasn't very obvious. Gee, I knew I was gonna get that sentence out sooner or later. <laughs> But yeah, that wasn't a very obvious place to put a key, I have to say. You might just be wandering around this place for hours if you're not killing all the enemies. You're like, oh, where's that key? Alright, so we used one of the keys. And... Back over to the black and white side. So I guess that's basically what these four rooms are. Have to kill the enemies on one of them. Because the middle path over there leads to the boss. screen. Okay, we get the arrows. Very important item. Now we just need to look for its complementary item, which is of course the bow. And uh, actually from this point in the quest, it's sort of important that you do the dungeons in the order that I'm doing them, or that I will do them. Uh, because the items that you get from these dungeons will help you in subsequent dungeons. Like here, the uh, bow and arrows, they will help you out a lot in the next one. Well, maybe not a lot, but enough. You know what? Ow. That was a terrible idea. <laughs> I just sacrificed a whole lot more life than I needed to. Hit me. Oh, you're supposed to hit me down, jerk. And I only have five hearts left, eh. Yeah, I mean, even if you, uh, do this dungeon first, it's not really too hard, I guess. I mean, it, provided you get the blue tunic and, or the blue ring and the white sword before you enter. You know, you'll have... I don't remember how many hearts, but... You'll have a good number of hearts. You know, five will do you. Because, uh, really none of these enemies are that dangerous. Although you would have to grind up a lot of rupees to get the... The blue tunic... Blue... Blue tunic, blue ring, whatever. The white sword and the magical shield. What was I thinking? Okay, I'm not gonna try that again. Oh well, we got a restock room here. Yeah, and there's plenty of uh, these bushes you can slash down to get hearts and rupees and whatnot. See, I'm already back to full health. It's not too bad. Alright, and through this warp, and uh, I'm going to stop here and next time we will finish up with this place. See you later.